The bees rush out in defense, but this is their undoing. One by one, they're picked off. More hornets join the attack. The hornets emit a chemical rallying cry, and this triggers a unique phenomenon. They no longer carry bee carcasses back to the nest. Instead, they slaughter, then cast aside the body of every defender they meet. It's the start of a mass attack. Each warrior can kill up to 40 bees a minute. The European bees outnumber the hornets a thousand to one. But they didn't evolve alongside these huge Asian predators and have no effective defense. Within the hour, 10,000 bees are down. Their stings are not strong enough. But as the corpses pile up, the hornets begin to tire. Giant hornets are so big, they are in danger of overheating. But the scent of the prize inside drives them to fight until they drop. Thirty thousand honeybees have died in three hours, falling victim to just thirty giant hornets. By midday, the defences are breached. Now the real plunder begins. The hornets pay little attention to the few surviving bees. The motivation for the attack lies within the combs. Outside, the exhausted hornets exchange liquids to boost their energy. Inside, the defenseless young are butchered. The succulent and nutritious flesh will be a massive boost to the hornets' own larvae and their queen's fortunes. <laughs> 